What's going on guys? Just want to do a quick video on, I don't know, I'm just thinking like, I think in a year or two my 12 volt battery is going to be dead and I'm going to have to look up on how to replace a 12 volt battery on a Tesla anyway. So I thought I'd just do that now. And if you guys don't know, Tesla has released all of their software service manual info. So really all you got to do is know how to follow directions and kind of read through and this should be pretty easy. Um, disconnect connect any charging table, power off the climate control system, and then it says to wait 30 seconds. So that's completely powered off, which I did that. I already have the trunk open or the frunk open. Uh, let's see, um, fully lower all door windows to avoid glass shatter. Well, we don't want that. So I lowered all the windows. Open the left hand rear hand doors and then press the shop how halfway through each door striker to prevent the latch from securing. Why is that necessary? We don't have to remove the second row lower seat cushion because we have a um, heat pump. But on I guess 2019 models you're gonna have to do that. Um, Remove the rear under hood apron, which I'll show you that. On the touch screen, touch controls. Um, controls and then it's a, it's a touch safety, okay. Control safety and security, vehicle power off, okay. Charging lights, the safety. Okay, so that's how you power off. And it says, do not proceed until the climate control system has been powered off for at least 30 seconds. Do not disconnect the 12 volt power while the climate control system is operational. Okay, so do not let, do not disconnect the battery until the um, climate control is off. All right, once the frunk is open, really, you don't need any tools. You just, these are all just snapped together. I just did it pre, because I'm holding a camera on one hand, and plus I'm like dressed up and stuff, and I've got like a watch on, which is really, you shouldn't be doing. Uh, or definitely shouldn't be wearing a ring while working on cars. And then they want you to pull this climate control duct, which is more just these things that just snap in. And this just pulls out too, so. And there's a battery right there. Daddy. Also, you want to cut this if your car is ever on a fire or anything. They just want you to cut that to disconnect the high voltage battery from the rest of the system. Alright, so you only need two tools when doing the battery. You need an 8 millimeter socket and a 10 millimeter socket. And so, this is very important. This is for the heat pump model, Model 3. Okay? So, with the heat pump model, Model 3. Before, once you take this cover off, you'll see the battery. It's pretty easy, right? It's right here. All right, very important. You wanna take the negative cable first off, okay? And remember, you have to wait 30 seconds until all the climate systems and everything completely off. Everything's powered off, climate system's powered off, and then you power off the vehicle. And then you get a 10, that looks like a 10 millimeter. Take a either eight or ten millimeter. I think that's ten. You remove the negative battery cable. Okay. Once that's removed, then you see this right here, right beneath the uh, the brake fluid reservoir. Push your red pin back and then disconnect this. This is the uh, main safety switch for the high voltage disconnect. So that's that right there. So disconnect the battery negative first. Once that's disconnected. Then you undo this by pulling, pushing this red tab back, and then pulling the wire off. Now it specifically states in the manual to not take, remove the negative battery terminal. Oh, to not disconnect this uh, safety disconnect until the negative battery terminal is removed. So make sure you remove this first, and then you disconnect this. Then you take the battery out. Okay, and once you take the battery out, it's very easy. You 
this one holding the battery down uh, you put the battery in and then it wants you to connect the safety switch and then install the negative battery so let me just make sure I didn't get that confused okay so when connecting all right it says do not reconnect the 12 volt negative terminal until the first responder loop is connected okay so I think with a big caution thing right there I'm pretty sure that Tesla really wants you to reconnect the uh, first responder loop once again is this make sure you connect that first and then connect the negative battery terminal so um, just do that and then you're done with the batteries super simple it looks like super simple but it seems like you could mess up a lot of stuff if you don't know what you're doing